what's going on everybody ultimate djs here from the teaching trick youtube channel here today with another kind of a quick and dirty if you will trying to get into the deep math of this brand spanking new ship it is indeed the mantis uh before we begin please be sure to acknowledge the fact and share with your team and click on the bell so that you know when we've got other stuff coming out because we're trying to jam out a bunch of cool stuff uh, as cool as we can make it about this new ship and this new loop this month. Now, uh, I want to give a very quick and early shout out to uh, my friend Smoke Mohawk, also Jules Verne, uh, Yagadia, I think helped on this some, Yusuki helped on this some. So, uh, and I know that there were others, but I do want to say thank you to those guys that come off the top of my head as we were preparing some of this data. What we want to talk to you today about is the path of the Mantis. Now, obviously at this date, if you've got the Mantis, you're not a free-to-play. You've bought this ship, but you spent $100 on the ship, and maybe that's just daggone enough. Maybe you're not wanting to spend hundreds of dollars more on research or hundreds of dollars more on upgrading the ship, and that's okay. So what we're going to give you right here today now is the most free-to-play cost-efficient method towards upgrading and progressing with this ship so that even down the line when this ship does become grindable and available to the entire community this will be a video you can reference back on the strategy used to up uh, uh, upgrade this ship and find yourself a decent stopping or a decent pausing point now do keep in mind this is at least as of right now in the game and obviously other researches prime skins or just changes to this ship could come at any time. Uh, but what we're going to talk to you about today is indeed this Mantis refinery. We're going to go through this kind of in somewhat detail, but I want to start right here with Tier 1, where we can see that 3,000 of the Axie and Venom, and for the most part right now, I really kind of want to just disregard the double chest pulls. If we remember back to Outlaw, we go back to the Vidar, double chest pulls were not possible this early in that loop. They're there so that eventually you'll be able to do that, or if you've got a buildup of the materials, you'll be able to do that. you got an extra surplus, you could do that. But right now, we need to be focusing on single chest. This is how we're going to get our progression early on, as it is the most cost efficient. Uh, and it's not really even going to cost us a ton of extra time to do this, because what we're going to do is we're going to try to fast track this ship to about tier two, tier three, uh, and we'll give you a couple of safe points for doing so as well. I know a lot of players are saying tier two. Me personally, I feel like it's going to be a tier three, but again, results are going to vary. Uh, what I can tell you right here, right now is that if you are able on one single run of the mantis if you're able to bring home in the neighborhood of 8500 uh loot or so maybe 8000 loot or so that's going to give you 16000 for the day uh what we're going to recommend as far as a strategy here on this part early is going to only require in the neighborhood of 11 to 12 or maybe 17,000 if we get to a different tier so again if you're able to bring home let's say you're tier two and you're able to bring home even six or seven thousand per trip then i am going to recommend that we take a look at the next tier but i'm going to give you these numbers as we go on so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this ship it's going to be brand spanking new it's going to be tier one we're going to get our two cells and we're going to go into the systems to kill the hostiles all right obviously the explorers dropping less loot but the interceptors dropping a lot more loot but they hit harder so what we want to do is try to get this ship upgraded not only to help its cargo but to help its weaponry and its level for the ship ability to increase the damage output so step one ship parts all right let's take a look at the ship as it presents in stfc.space shout out my good friend ripper here's the mantis now if uh if we're taking a look at this thing just to get to tier two okay brand spanking new tier one to tier two we can see here it only takes 450 synthetic nitrium that's 450 parts well if we come back here to our refinery we're seeing that it's dropping 150 out of a single chest guys that's only three days it has a 24 hour cooldown we're spending three thousand and we're going to get 150 parts meaning that you can legitimately have this ship to tier two in only three days and i'm absolutely going to recommend that you do that at the same time what else should we pull again let's assume at tier one that you are indeed coming home with let's say four five maybe six thousand loot out of one cell that is going to vary based on the officers you're able to use it's also going to vary based on the level of the treasury building as it's giving a cargo buff 
So and the level of syndicate that you've got, which is ultimately the payout of this entire loop. So what are we looking at on day one? We go up, we've got it. Let's assume that we've got now maybe, let's say conservatively, we got 10,000 loot. We only got 5,000 per cell. All right, some people will do better. Some people should be there. That should be a conservative number. 10,000 loot is what we've got. Well, day one, I'm absolutely going to buy 150 ship parts, okay? No questions asked. I'm going to do that. Do that, absolutely. Should we spend the other 6,000 loot on synthetic ions? No, I disagree with this, all right? 6,000 giving you only 200. The reason I'm gonna recommend a little bit of a pause is uh, for some deeper math that I'll show you here in just a second. But if we did, you know what? Let me go ahead and show you. Synthetic uh, ions, these are the research particles. So if we come in here to the starships and we look at Mantis Research, as I said in the previous video, the first one we're looking at, don't be fooled by all of these others. The first one we're looking at is Mantis Cargo, okay? Right here, level one of this research is gonna require 1,000 synthetic ions, all right? 1,000. Well, if I'm only getting 200 per refine, that's five refines, but it's got a three-day cooldown, 15 days. All right, that's what I'm looking at. It's 15 days to get enough research or get enough particles to do that first research here at Tier 1. I don't like that math, all right, because I get double for only 1,000 more venom at Tier 2. All right. Uh, and I'm on a three day cooldown. I know that in three days I can be at tier two on this ship and I can turn right around and double up the amount of research particles. All right. Uh, and even if I did that, if I didn't buy anything here in tier one and I waited three days and I've got a three day lead time, but now I only have to do this refine three times, uh, one each on a single chest with three day cooldown. That's nine. Now I'm already down to 12 days. All right. Three days lead time to get the ship to tier two and then three refines right here. A thousand more is getting me double. I may recommend one more pause trying to get this thing to tier three, but this is where results are going to vary. If we get this thing to tier two, then we should be killing those level 33s just a little bit better. So we'll talk about what your daily needs are. But here at tier one, I'm only spending 3,000 each for the first three days. So I'm going to have a little bit left over. Again, assuming that I came home with a total of 10, I spent three. So now I've got seven left over. I'm not going to do it on research yet. So I might come over here to the syndicate XP, which is actually not a bad value. It's actually a pretty good value, especially here at Tier 1. This is an example of the payout actually getting worse as you tier up the ship. Now, it is giving more, but you'll be reminded of the Outlaw Tree, for example, where you get small percentages increase in payout for much larger <laughs> percentage increases in investment. The Syndicate XP uh, section is no different, but even still here at Tier 1, it is still a very good payout. Uh, so on day one, I'm coming home with 10,000 loot. I'm going to spend three here. I'm going to spend six here. I'm going to be done. There's 9,000, and I've got 1,000 to carry over towards day two. Same thing. Day two, I'm going to pull in 10,000, but I've got 1,000 left over. There's 11,000. I'm going to spend three right here. It leaves me eight. I'm going to do the syndicate again. It's on a single day cooldown. Day three, I'm going to do the same thing, all right, except I'm going to spend on the single chest get the 150 parts. That is now day three. That gives me 450 parts. I'm going to immediately tier that ship to tier two. Immediately tier that ship to tier two. Uh, and now I could pull this refinery again if I had the spare loot to do so. All right. And if you really wanted to get into the synthetic ion research, then right here's where you do that. And I will tell you, even if you wanted to do this and the research and the syndicate almost every single day, of course, synthetic ions do have a three day cooldown. You are probably going to run into a scenario where you're going to be trying to increase your cargo to a point where you can support all this. Now, DJs, you're ignoring the whole fragments completely. Well, they're my last priority. Now, I shouldn't say that. Officer sourcing is incredibly important. Research is forever. Officers are forever. Uh, and they are giving us a permanent transparent path. But as mentioned in the previous video, there is more than one way to get to those officers. Of course, you've got it down here in the Mantis Refinery, which you can do here. But you can also earn these uh, ship fragments by doing a new set of dailies. We talked about this in the last video. Spending two stings is going to get you roughly 
well, a, a smaller amount. These do scale by ops. Mine's a little bit higher at ops 47. I'm getting a thousand. All right, but that's to use both of my daily stings. I'd have to do that every single day and get a thousand, or I can double up every other day. I'm getting two stings for free, so every other day I'm going to sting four times. But what happens on that on um, that day that I do sting four times? I'm getting both of these dailies done. So in my case, I'm getting four thousand every two days, or I could get a thousand every day. I'm literally doubling my loot by actually doing this every two days. For me, that's four chances every two days in that refinery chest, and I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Now, of course, you can speed that up by using this portion, uh, this portion of the refinery, but because there's another way to source it, this is kind of what I'm looking at, and obviously the research and the ship parts are important to me early up front. Now, you are at tier two. This is a great place to hold for a lot of you. All right, if you're using the Mantis, and again, most of this video is directed probably at 41 and 42 and down, as I know some of the G4 and G5 players are finding better success with alternative ships because of the cargo problem that we've been talking about. But if you are all the way up through, say, Ops 40, maybe 41, maybe 42, although there is some early promise with some of the G4 uncommons, you're probably going to be better off with the Mantis. We tested this on screen with an Augur and actually just barely did better than the Mantis, but I'm an Ops 47 with a Tier 8 Augur. If you are uh, level 39 with a Tier 5 Augur, your Mantis is going to do better. So when is it okay to go to Tier 3? Well, let's take a look at what we're going to need. We know that we're going to need 4,000 at the minimum every single day. We know that every third day we're going to need 7,000 to get some of this research. We do probably want to be getting into this research. And then maybe on the other days we're going to be wanting to spend seven here on the Syndicate XP. Does that mean that I'm going to be able to do this all every single day? No, probably not. What I'm thinking is that I want to be able to spend approximately 11,000 every single day. That would be 4,000 on ship parts. And then if it's the day for research, I'm going to do that. But if it's the other two days because I'm on a three-day cooldown, then I'm probably buying Syndicate. Obviously, having a little bit extra, a little bit of a surplus is advantageous, especially if you get stung or you have a bad day in the system. But you can see right here, really truthfully, I am realistically thinking that if I can get 11,000 per day off the two cells, that is 5,500 per run, then I am very, very, very comfortable here at Tier 2. When is it okay to go to Tier 3? Well, use this chart to plan. If I'm going to go to Tier 3 and I want to follow the same pattern, now I'm up to 17,500. 17,500, just for easy math, let's call it 18,000. Now, all of a sudden, for me to follow my pattern, I need a minimum of 9,000 loot per run. 9,000 loot per run. So there's a couple of ways to do that. As we discussed in the previous video, crew is going to have a lot to do with it. Obviously, you're going to want to try to find a way to get your largest crew possible, uh, largest cargo, by eventually using just cargo officers. We ran a test on screen with this. This crew was very, very successful. Running five in the middle, that's helping with your loot acquisition. Running four of 11 on one side and Stan on the other. And of course, our beloved uh, La on on the under deck obviously stats are going to be an issue you're not using any other battle abilities here other than mitigation here from five plus a little bit of a bonus from four of eleven but cargo is absolutely important where else can you get cargo well you can take a look inside your base uh you could see maybe we're not spending enough time on the treasury upgrading the treasury building because there is cargo capacity there but also what we're going to be doing through tier one and tier two of this ship is we're working on syndicate all right, and Syndicate has cargo bonuses in here as well. I'm currently level 15, but you can see right here at level 14, there's cargo capacity boost. Uh, let's see, 12, uh, right here on number 11, there's cargo capacity boost. 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, right here. I see, I was thinking that was number six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It is seven. Number seven, you got cargo capacity here. All right. So uh, there's already just by level 15, which most people should be approximately free to play right now, or at least up to 14, which is where this bonus uh, comes in, this next cargo bonus. That would be level 14 of Syndicate, and that's giving you cargo. That's the only two places that's giving you cargo inherently in the game. The other thing that you could look at doing here is perhaps a Galaxy Exocomp 
for cargo space. There's a couple of them at different rarities running around in here, but uh, you could look at something like that. Like, for example, I've got a G4 rare here at plus 50% cargo capacity, something that is going to help me get a little bit more. Now, am I suggesting you run a G4 rare exocomp every single time you want to go hit these Axion hostels? Not necessarily, but you're going to want to do everything that you possibly can to get the cargo up. Because as we're looking here, here's the number. If you are tier one, you need to be able to pull 5,500 loot per trip before you can go to tier two. If you're going to follow my plan, before you go to tier three, you need to be able to pull about nine, what did we say? About 9,000 per run. All right, that is a pretty good jump, 9,000 per run. But do keep in mind it will get easier. As you tier the ship, the cargo gets a little bit bigger, the damage bonuses get stronger, the weapons and the shield and the hull are upgraded. You will perform better against these hostiles, making it possible to actually go up and max your cargo. Can you get 9,000 per loop at tier three? Absolutely you can. Between the cargo increases and uh, your cargo officers and this and that, you you can get up to 9,000 uh, per run, but it is going to be tight, and that is the goal. That's the pattern. Same thing. You could continue looking at this as far as progression goes, and I know some larger players are going to say, well, I can do double chest of everything with a G4 Pylum, for example. And yeah, that's probably true, but most of us are going to be advantaged by using the Mantis in this loop. To go to Tier 4, like what do you need to be able to do to go to Tier 4? It's starting to get heavy over here. 24,000. 24,000 is what I need. That's 12,000 per cell, 12,000 per trip. And again, that's only allowing me to pretty much just do these and rely on the whole fragments out of dailies. That way we're getting Syndicate two out of three days. We're getting the research at every opportunity and we're getting this Nitrium. What should we be doing with the research? Well, I already told you the research has no dependencies right here on Mantis Cargo. You can take a look. Mantis Cargo is the only prereq. Uh, this thing is, of course, level locked. So if you're a level 39, the highest you can actually go is level eight on this thing but that's a lot of synthetic ions all right uh this is going to take a little bit while through this loop but tier one is only a thousand tier two four thousand well let's come back over here if i am going to try to fast track my way to tier three like if i'm tier two and i'm already pulling nine thousand per trip i'm ready to go to tier three i'm probably not going to spend on this research because again i'm one thousand more to get 400 but as soon as i can pop this thing up to tier three which mathematically i should be able to do let's here let's check the ship how many parts does it take to take this ship to tier three we already saw it's only 450 to go to two. So from two to three is only 2,095. Let's call it 2,100. Well, if I'm earning 300 per day at tier two, that's only another seven days. So seven days plus the original three, 10 days, I'm already at tier three. And that is a loop I can live with. By 10 days in, if I'm getting the amount of cargo that I need, 10 days in, I'll be at I'll be a tier three. And here's where I really like the efficiency boost of the synthetic ions. All right. It is going to cost me a little bit more. Uh, 6,000 to 11,000, not quite double, but I'm getting 5x on the payout going from 200 to 1,000. Even if I decided to hang out here at tier three, I'm getting a fair number of parts, but most importantly, I'm getting 1,000 research particles every three days. And even to take that research then to level three is only going to take, uh, what, roughly 12 days to earn the particles. At 4,000 particles, I need four refunds times three is 12 more days. Moreover, every single day that I'm not pulling research, I'm also pulling Syndicate. And that is another 1,600 per day. You got to think, two days of this uh, at 3,200, that's almost as much as we would get in the free track of the Battle Pass on a monthly basis that you just now got in two days. You're going to take a day off of the research and then go two more days over here. So you will be able to essentially pull this chest 20 times really if you think about it over a 30-day period two days on one day off two days on one day off so let's pretend that we get 20 pulls out of a tier 3 refinery folks that's 32,000 syndicate xp in a 30-day span not only that but your hull fragments even if you're not pulling them over here you're earning those through the dailies as well by using 
your condensed venom. This is the early analytics. We do expect things to change. There could be primes, there could be skins, there could be exos, there could be any number of things that uh, that uh, Scopely decides to. I almost said echo. <laughs> echo, fix it. There's all number of things that Scopely could decide to do to change this loop, even including changing the base cargo, as that does appear to be the major problem right now as we're progressing through. But I do remind folks, complete opinions aside and just looking at this objectively, really truthfully, at this point in the game, whether you love it or hate it, the two chest option is not an option for a lot of us. And it was the same way with the Vidar and it's the same way with Stella. These are for down the road. Right now, we're just trying to punch through our progression levels and you got to get the double chest out of your head. Think and find a pattern with the single chest that's going to be sustainable for you on an every single day basis without taking a ton of time and you'll find yourself progressing through this relatively quickly. Use this chart to determine when you're ready to level up. How many hostels can you hit? How much loot can you get? How much cargo capacity do you have? And when you figure that you can get roughly the amount of cargo divided by two, because you get two cells, that equal ship parts and either research or syndicate because they appear to be the same all the way up when you can do double or, or a single chest of both of those on a daily basis then it is time for you to move up and increase your efficiency in ship parts and research all right obviously as you go up the syndicate xp is going to increase it's not a great but it does stay balanced with the research particles allowing you to bounce back and forth between these two categories community this is my opinion this is my teaching my strategy that i want to share with you guys that i think is going to work for pretty much everybody 40 and down if you're 41 42 plus and you're flying a jelly or you're flying you know a g4 uncommon or even a g4 rare well, just you guys are swell. Just keep doing that, okay? Uh, and you'll get more loot. You'll be able to do more chest pulls. But for the rest of the 41 and down community that are going to be relying on the Mantis, this is right here is how you do it. Do you have questions? Leave them in the section below the video. I'd love to answer them for you. Please be sure to click on the like if you enjoyed the math uh, and enjoyed the strategy that we're teaching you here today. Share with your team. Click on the subscribe button. Make sure to smash that bell so you know when we do other content. Maybe even consider joining that uh, the, the join button down there. Look, there's like a gold club down there. It's kind of crazy. You could do that and you see your name on the screen at the end of the video and that would be super great if you want to join our gold YouTube club. I'd really appreciate that as well. Uh, in the meantime, I would just ask you to share with your team. Get the word out there and let me know is this working for you maybe we need to tweak it and i'd like to know a little bit more about how this can work over the next several days for you guys my name is ultimate djs i am your friendly neighborhood cat person uh say meow for now right here on the teaching trek youtube channel see i even had my nerd glasses on look see there's tape can you see it there's tape on the side and, and on the bridge of my little furry cat nose because i'm a nerd love you meow